Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. So, um, on the upcoming Pacific Crest Trail um, uh, Shakedown Heights and my through hikes, I want to show you what I recommend for the remainder of 2022, 2023, and beyond. I've used these two rain jackets um, since 2016. And honestly, you don't need an expensive rain jacket to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, you know, the dollar Walmart rain poncho that weighs one ounce is absolutely completely waterproof. It's completely breathable. It's very simple. It just has a hood. It has um, half arm length. Um, if you shop around at other dollar stores, there will be other... Um, ponchos that maybe snap up which i don't recommend because water get through but they do have longer arms and they come in like different colors if that's your thing clear is fine for me uh also this makes a great pack cover it, it resolves the need to having a pack cover so it goes over you it fits over if you have like i wear a um a uh, mountain hardware um, ghost whisper light wind jacket underneath it to kind of keep the wind out and to keep it warm again lots of ventilation you don't need to have a jacket with pit zips this does a trick the only thing in really windy conditions it's gonna flap around a lot it might drive you crazy and it could rip say in the desert if it's really windy if it catches on something so that's the only thing that you do have to worry but you can kind of just like take some paracord and strap it around and keep it um and also you know this is, is a lot Large. Um, you know, it comes in one size. It's pr fairly ra large, and this covers down to your legs. So when I have this on, it'll go down to like past my shorts, whatever shorts I'm wearing, including long shorts that go up to my knees. So what's really nice about this is that it eliminates the need of also having a wind skirt, and you could double pair it if you, if it was really cold and you were really worried in bad conditions, like in in um, a bad you knew you were going out for a week with a lot of rain, or in like maybe some winter conditions, you can pair it up with your frog togs. Now I've had this frog togs for years and years and years. They are more durable than people think. Again, with all your gear, you have to be careful with the gear. If you're not careful with the gear, the gear is not going to work and see this has reinforcement right here which is really nice um, and these come in different colors uh, though they're hard to find they always seem to be out so I get them in whatever color they have um, this is I use a medium because I like it really baggy so that I could have a sweatshirt or um, a sun hoodie underneath or maybe even a down jacket if I were going to sleep in it it is extra protection um, and you see it is starting to wear out that's what wears out on the shoulder there's just because you're wearing a pack with if you weren't wearing a pack it really wouldn't wear out but it's the pack that kind of wears it out so little duct tape just kind of does the the trick with it and this thing's held up the zippers held up fine um i find in in um warm rain see it's starting to wear out right there in warm rain this is absolutely going to be too hot for me most of the time i'm i'm just like sweating in it but then again i overheat very easily so because i've um i'm made myself immune to the cold so therefore um, I just prefer having this so yesterday I tried out both it was raining um, pretty pretty hot yesterday uh, no not sorry hot it was cold it was raining a lot yesterday and I was getting hot in the frog togs so I ended up switching over to the uh, the nice little um, <laughs> my go-to uh, jacket. Also, you could use this too as a uh, if you have a tarp system like I do, a Cuban fiber tarp or a poncho tarp, which I've used. Um, if it was raining really bad, you could use this as a uh, kind of door to block the uh, wind and the rain on one side. Or you could even I know you'd have condensation, but if you had really bad driving rain and you just had a light poncho tarp, you could also put it on one side to kind of block the uh, rain on you too. So this has multiple uses. Also, if if you have a campfire you can set this up and have kind of uh, the heat coming tr through like with your tarp and trapping heat and then a reflective um you know some kind of reflective uh blanket on the other side like a marathon blanket reflecting heat back to you and you've kind of created a nice little warm cocoon with a campfire so anyway for one ounce everybody should have one of these along with your wind jacket and emergency blanket those are my go-to things and warm and dry so anyway phoenix genesis i'll see you on the trail bye